reading an excerpt from Escape From Here by Shali, which is my pseudonym, which is going to be released very soon. Commander Gao, Captain Li, and Major Tang are warming up on the court when Ron and Mai turn the corner and cross to the gymnasium. You're late, Zhao, barks Gao with a friendly jibe. The three officers pause to watch the couple approaching. Martin Tai Tai, what a pleasure to see you this morning. A bonus. You are forgiven for lateness this time. The men are familiar to Ronald Zhao, and so are the surroundings except it's snowing. He grasps the lucky coin in his pocket and shakes the memory away. We meet again, says Gao. He misses his free throw. Ron takes the ball and lays up a point. Mai walks to the end of the courts and sits on a bench beneath a grove of bamboo. Here, sunlight never penetrates and small birds rustle in the debris of fallen leaves. I found out something about the gangster, Dong Jue, says Gao. He takes his time focusing on his free shot, makes it. He gets out today, same day as Rick Martin. Does he get off for the knife attack too? Asks Ron, who catches the ball and turns toward the basket. Pardoned, Jenda. Captain Lee slaps the ball away and twists to make a point. You play well for a dead man, Zhao, says Lee. Tell us about your ordeal. The man Dong was in our cabin with a knife. He jumped onto the ship when I fell into the space between. They looked for you for weeks. Martin Tai Tai was distraught. I washed up on the riverbank below Fengdu. A peasant woman found me and nursed me to health. My memory has taken longer to recover. He pauses to show his arm wound to the men who crowd around staring at the gash. This suggests taking a break. They wander to their gear, check their phones for messages, and take a drink. The men appear to be playing again. Mai stands and walks into the grove on a winding path. Do you remember the case last year here at the university? Was it snowing? Asked Ron, bouncing the ball and trotting back and forth looking for an opening. Gao raises his arm and Ron shoots the, him the ball. He misses the rim shot. Tong grabs it and makes a point. To Captain Lee, Gao says, we need you to coordinate the local PSB and there will be other locations in the city. For what? asks Lee. Be expecting more arrests. It will come together quickly once we have the names. Gao turns to the others. Have you had enough punishment? I see Martin Tai Tai has wandered off. Meet me at the coffee bar. Where, asks Ron, she knows. See you in 15 minutes. The men trot into the gym entrance as Ron picks up my trail. Suddenly panicked, he doesn't see her the farther he penetrates the bamboo grove. He runs. On the other side are rows of parked cars. Memories tumble in a montage. He leans on his arms against his thighs until the pounding in his ears subsides. Are you okay, she asks. Suddenly, she's standing next to him in the hot sun, not in the snow. I guess I'm remembering things. Dway, this is the place, here in the parking lot. We chased them. It was snowing. A metallic taste in his throat gags. Ron straightens, shrugs off the unpleasant sensations, and smiles at her knitted brows. Bu Fengle, don't worry. The commander says to meet him at the coffee bar. You know where. Zoba. Walking along the avenue, next to the ancient canal, families with baby strollers and toddlers are out enjoying the day. Pretty girls twirl umbrellas on their shoulders. A humongous bush of double yellow roses tumbles over the wall and reflects in the still water below. Uh -huh.